Shalom, La'a, Dasalaknia, Malapanyaka, Wawakaka, Dashka, La'a, Dakwak, Mamanya, Baktayahu, Baktayahu Shah, Baktayahu, Baktayahu Shah. Shalom, it's your brother Shemak. And I want to first start off by giving all the glory, if the praise is unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the teacher of the Wilderness, overseer's tabernacle of David. Shalom to the hopefully elect that's giving you diligence to make that call the shore across the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the angels that are witnessing this day. And shalom to the few, sincere, I far from sisters that subject to the truth in all sincerity. Okay? And I just started off with the prayer, okay, pertaining to the scripture of Psalms 51 and 11. Okay? La'a Thasalaknia basically is mean is uh, not, La'a not, and Thasalaknia uh, cast, cast me out. Okay? Cast, cast out or cast me out. Oh, and then Malapanyaka is uh, the presence. Okay, which also can go into face or countenance. And you, of course, you got the Rakaka, that's the Holy Spirit. And you got the La'at, uh, the Kwak is to not take. And then Mamanya is from me. Okay, so yes, so that goes right into the um, to the scripture that I wanted to start off with. Uh, basically, man, uh, allowing Yahweh just to use you, to stay in that, in that lowly, meekful spirit, to be used as a servant. You know, you want we want to be used as much as possible. And you want him to, and you want you want him to sup with us, and especially in these times that are, that are, um that we're in, okay. Whatever you whether you may be uh, signs of prophecy or whether you may be seeing spirits fall off or or spirits being sifted, you know. So you just allowing a allow Yahabashmi Asha to use you, use you, you know, and never get rid of you, okay. Use you, use you, and never get rid of you. All right. All right, so this is a Psalm chapter fifty-one, verse eleven. It says, "Cast not, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me." Okay, and this was David speaking. So even David, in, even David was uh, praising praising his poetry in a song or whatnot within the, within the, within the Psalms. Okay, and he even and he even was saying this. So how much more so us? Okay, and David was was definitely a man was definitely a man of the Lord. You know, Yahabashmi Asha was definitely dealing with with David. Okay. All right, so how much more so us? We have to be in that meatful spirit, you know. Always, always not, not always being, not even ever being complacent. Truly, you know, every never taking the truth for granted, never feeling like, oh, wow, man, my spot guaranteed being part of the elect, just because I may uh, did this certain amount of videos or going out to the highways, byways this many times, you know. You never be content, man. It's, it's not about what you did yesterday; it's about what you're gonna do the next day. Okay, it's about growing and increasing in this thing. All right. So let me also get another exhorting scripture with Psalm chapter 55, verse 22. Okay. You know, basically, basically you being in that meatful spirit and basically uh focusing your spirit on the kingdom first, okay? Putting off these distractions or whatnot and everything that comes with it. Alright. This is Psalm chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Okay, he's not going to suffer the righteous to be uh, confounded and confused. Okay, he's going to direct our steps, as it says, Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse nine. The Lord is going, the Lord Yahweh is going to direct our steps. He's, he's going to sustain you. Okay, and then to be sustained, you know, you got that's part of that's part of that endurance. You know, he's going to he's going to have you endure if you cast your burdens until Yahweh Yahweh And it also correlates with Galatians. Um, Six and two, because you also do what, man? You envision the kingdom within one another, and you also what? Cast your burdens upon one another. Okay, this, this thing, this thing, you. This is not. I was spoken. To, I was speaking to a brother earlier while I was on lunch break at, on the plantation. Hey, this is not no solo dolo walk, and it's also not a walk where you can hold somebody's hand as well. You know, everybody has to have to prove their own work. You know, but it's also not a solo dolo walk. It's a balance to it. Okay, this is Galatians chapter six, verse two. Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. So yeah, bear each other's burdens. Help each other out, man. Be a true brother. Be a true friend. You know, a, a true companion. Okay? And help you. And when you help a brother, man, you helping the ministry. When you improve your situation, you improve the ministry situation. This is not, don't be selfish and stay in this you know, and think it's all about you, 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 you. And your, yourself, you being part of the body, you know, which we are a body. You know, we're cast, we're, we're brought together through the through the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. You know, this thing, this thing is about unity, man. True unity. Okay. And of course, let me get the scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 
Verse 21. This is so like let me get also 22. All right. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctify and meet for the master's use, and prepare unto every good work. So yeah, purge yourself, go into that cleansing, you know, something to you, how about Shem Yahusha? Cleansing yourself, you know, uh fighting off those um satanic thoughts, okay, and evil spirits <laughs> unto you, Salaki. So and just being a vessel to honor, a clean vessel. Okay, and we we're able to be cleansed right now through the, through the, through Yahweh Shah's death, man. Okay, through that grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and meat for the master's use. You got to to be meat for the master's use. You got to stand in that lowly and humble spirit, and that lowly and humble spirit comes with the precept that I started off with, with Psalm chapter fifty one verse eleven. Okay, and it says, and you prepare those every good work. Your every good work is doing a hey, you reading, studying, fasting, praying. You know, uh, doing put forth good works on highways and byways, week in week out, on a consistent basis. You know, nonstop being fervent in the spirit. This fit, verse fifty two, flee also you for lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So yeah, this this thing we're in this thing together, man. Who's doing this in faith? In faith and charity. Charity is that love. You know, and peace. You don't see brothers, man, out there shooting, um, going fifteen, talking about shoot my one. No nah, man, we in it. We 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 peaceful amongst each other, man. Okay, it says with them that call on the Lord. These are your true. This is your true family right here, man. You look to the left and the right. This is this is your brothers. You know this is this is to the death. Truly, you know how Jake say in the world, man. To the death, to the end. No, nah, for real. This is us to the end. Okay, we find we find for something that we'll die for. And, and the next man stands for that same that very same thing. Okay. We got to come into it with a pure heart. We got to have that clean heart, man. Don't have those uh, envying a brother, being jealous of a brother's situation or what, whatever the case may be. But just being a, having that pure heart, that pure mind, okay? And just be prepared to do, to do those good works. All right. Let me get a scripture in Isaiah 52 and 11. Then I'm going to get one more, of course, to close it out. Okay, this is also uh, basically going into tonight. Hey, just fleeing from the world, man. Hey, love not the world, as scripture speak about. This is Isaiah chapter 52, verse 11. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing. Go ye out in the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear that bear the vessels of the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? So yeah, don't hey be clean. Don't this this hurt, man, these distractions, okay, of that Babylon, the great, the great whore that, that it brings, okay, through its riches and, and its uh the, the, its gifts that destroy the heart, you know. Hey man, flee these because it's because what? It is temporary. Once you know the times that we in, that's all. Hey, that's that should let you know that you shouldn't be bullshitting. You know, speaking to ourselves, of course, always, always examining ourselves. Okay, the better we may be vessels for you, how about me, Shah. And at the end, he'll reward you because what? You kept thy patience and thy word, and you didn't, and you did not deny his name. You know, and spoke about Revelation chapter three and two. All right. But let me get a um let me get Luke chapter 4 verse 17. Oh, it's like let me get Luke chapter 4 verse 18. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering the sight of the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. So we have we have a job to do. You know, and that's the and that's to push this gospel, push this word as hard as we can. You know, balancing it out and it's and enduring in this thing, because what he anointed us, he has chosen, he has predestined us to even receive this truth from the beginning. You know, to preach the gospel to what the poor. He's giving this truth to the poor. We don't have the best tennis scores. We don't, we don't have the uh, not so lucky. We don't have the best credit scores. We don't have the best houses. We're not in the best situations. We're we're part of that poor man, and to heal the brokenhearted. Those, those fruitful spirits coming up, that's the broken heart, man. We we hear we we see a fruit come up, man. That's faith boosters. That's that's a faith booster for us, man. That keeps us pushing, you know. It's a it's a preach deliverance to the captives, and that's what we do, man. That that's something serious. Us being freedom for all, free from all our worries, deliverance to the captives. We are in slavery right now. We are in hell on earth. Are right? we in in pure darkness right now? Okay. And recovering the sight of the blind, man, because the blind, the blind shall lead the blind, they both shall fall in the ditch. These our people are are, are finished, man. And only next 
The only next thing to come is death. The only next thing to come is death, man. Okay, but, but what's important is that elect, that 144,000 who are men, and the, and the, and the one-third, okay, uh, full, uh, full of uh, believers, okay? But I just want to quickly touch on that, just through the spirit, all right? Because I, I remember uh, that scripture came to my head, and that prayer came to my head, and that and that quote of, of use me, use me, please don't get rid of me, also came to my head uh, earlier this week. So I just brought it out through the spirit, and that's all I had, okay? So with that... I end up by giving all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem with Kakadash. Double honor to the Apostle Edward's great millstone that teach and rule well. And overseas Tabernacle of David. And with that, I would like to say Shalom. Mawapu